hello in this video i'll be showing you how you can easily edit using frequency separation in just 10 minutes so if i told you want to download the image to follow along check the links in, in the description of this video so you're going to be learning frequency separation from the start to the very end in just 10 minutes so frequency separation divides the image into the colors and the textures so just come to this very image and make sure that you press ctrl j or you can use command j for mark so just do that and after name this to color and name the upper layer to double click to rename just name the upper layer to textures so about my spelling so texture and after doing that just come and hide the texture and select the color layer and as it is mentioned right here simply come and select the color layer so we only want to remain with the colors in the color layer so just come to filter and come to blur and come to gaussian blur so look for a point in the skin that has most of the textures so take the radius down make sure the previous on look for an area that has more textures and left click on the radius and start dragging it up so left click and hold down and you start moving the slider and you stop at the point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the details in the skin or the textures and click ok so after doing that we're just going to come back to the texture layer select it and now activate it and after activating it simply come to image and come to apply image so when you come to apply image basically what we want to do is make sure that you come right here and select so the source is the name of the image so just come and select the color layer and after selecting the color layer make sure you turn on the invert option the channel is rgb make sure you set the channel to rgb the scale has to be 20 offset zero and the blending has to be add opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and you are going to be good to go so those are settings for a 16-bit image so if i told you have eight here it means make sure the invert option is not is not turned on for an 8-bit image after selecting the color layer select subtract as the blend mode the scale has to be two and offset 128 and you'll see the textures on this gray layer so i'll change mine to a 16 bit which is add invert then i'll come and simply hit ok come to the blend mode right here and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and you'll get back the image that it was meant to be so select both layers and press ctrl g on the keyboard and you can so when we hide the original image we basically have the same image which has been separated into the colors and the textures so when you combine both we end up with the same image so after doing that the next thing is going to be working on the skin or doing the skin retouching so select the color layer because we want first of all blend the transitions within the skin so select the color layer and hide the texture layer because the reason for hiding is because we don't want to be distracted by the textures as we're trying to even out the skin tone so select the color layer come under the brushes right click or click and hold down and simply select the mixer brush tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero and clean brush is selected because we want photoshop to automatically clean the brush as we're mixing different areas of the skin because they contain different colors make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected with a weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 flat 100 percent make sure sample all is not turned on and start painting on the skin so how to paint we basically mix a given color by left clicking and holding down so you left click and hold down so if at all it is showing a plus icon make sure you press the caps lock on the keyboard then to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard so how to mix a given area you make sure that the size is relatively small and can mix a given color and blend a given area or colors in a given area so you left click and hold down and you drag to mix a given area and left click and hold down if at all you want to work on another area so you left click and hold down and you mix the colors to blend them better so when it comes to a bright area you release the left click button and left click once again to mix a given area or a new area and where these colors are transitioning from one color to another we basically have to use a small brush and mix mix or blend the transition of those colors and blend them better so this is what we have right now so when it comes to the cheek area left click and hold down and you mix in the direction 
of the way the chick is moving so mix those colors just like that so you have to follow the way light is falling on a given area and you don't want to drag colors from one area to another because that is going to change or distort the original shape of the model's face and as you're editing make sure you retouch at a distance because you can evidently or clearly see the uneven skin tone transitions at a distance and work on them quickly and even better so it is basically going to help you save a lot of time so mix those areas so on the nose you have to move the strokes of a brush in this kind of up and down direction to blend the transitions between those colors so reduce on the size by using the bracket key and work on this highlight on the nose to blend it better so basically mix every area that has or contains skin tones so I'll come to the shoulder area right here and also blend the mid tones and these dark areas alone and reduce on the size and work on the highlight and transitions and blend them better so you can see what we have right now so you can see we have just been able to edit or retouch this image so just turn on the texture layer to see what you have been doing so you can see the overall before after before after so after doing that if at all you are not satisfied with the results you can as well work with the texture layer turned on to see the areas you may have missed out when you are using uh, your mixer brush tool so for example this area has not been worked on so i'll blend that area so after we have done that the next thing is going to be removing the pimples or blemishes from the image so to remove the pimples or blemishes we select the texture layer which is containing the pimples and the blemishes blemishes are part of textures and just come to the clone stamp tool right here and make sure the hardness set to, to zero percent the mode is normal opacity in the flat hundred percent make sure align is selected and sample is set to current layer and after doing that simply zoom into the image to see or identify the blemishes a little bit clearly so after doing that remove this pimple simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click over the blemish so you hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key for windows and left click on the clean area near the blemish and simply release the left key and simply left click over the blemish so i'll repeat this once again so to remove a blemish basically you hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click to copy clean skin on an area that is near the blemish and simply release the option key on the keyboard and you left click over the blemish to replace the blemish with clean skin so basically that is how the clone stamp tool is going to be working for your blemish removal so take your time as you're trying to clean up or remove the skin imperfections or the blemishes from your image so i'm just going to remove all these tiny skin imperfections and blemishes so like i said take your time always as you're trying to clean up and remove these blemishes so after you have removed the blemishes the next thing is going to be saving the image so it doesn't change in color when you print it out or when you post it on social media so to do that simply you can see what we have been able to achieve for the skin retouching so to save the image simply come right here to file and come to export and come to export as and it's going to open up the export as window so when the export as window is going to be open in photoshop what we want to do just want to save an image that won't change in color when we print it out or when we post it on social media so it is going to open up this window and make sure you put in these options i don't know why it is taking a long i don't know why it is taking long so file export and come to export as so it is going to bring up this and make sure you set the format to jpeg right here and put the quality all the way to the maximum which is the highest quality make sure the sample is set to by cubic sharper so click on the, this drop down arrow right here and simply select by cubic sharper so I'll delete one of these images 
So just come and select by cubic sharper right here. And after doing that, just come and embed color profile and convert sRGB. Make sure that two options have been checked right here and simply export the image. So this is how you can easily edit an image using frequency suppression from the very start to the very end. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you are not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and seeing yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.